Hey everybody, today my brother and I are visiting a card store in Johnstown, Pennsylvania that we just recently found out about. Uh, Johnstown is a town between Pittsburgh and Penn State, so if you're ever in the area or going to either of those places, make sure you look these guys up. Main Street Hobby, we're going to give you a little tour and show you what they have. Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Got a little bit of everything. Yeah, I didn't know you guys had all, all this kind of. Yeah, how's it going? I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The vintage, the older baseball rookies, we're getting through them, you know what I mean? But we have a lot of specials. And these are all comments. Over here. Um, tons of figures, old school figures. Uh, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? Cool stuff. Uh, this is the owner, Tony. Hey, how, how, you doing? Doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm John. Tony's been How you doing? I'm Eric. How you doing, Eric? Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're going to be up there more often. And we're but there's that all kind of crazy stuff already. in the back. You guys can have car blanche to look at it. Like, there's... Yeah. Old weird stuff back here. I'll show you. Oh, people nice. bring crazy stuff in. Be amazed on what people bring in. Yeah. You guys doing pretty good in business? Yeah. How long have you been there? Two years. Yeah, two years. Yeah. I don't know if you're interested in any of these. Oh yeah, for sure. We love. Uh, I know you do the junk wax. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. The uh, leaf. 91, we have Series 1 and Series 2. I don't know if you'd be interested in those. Yeah, I'd be interested in the right price. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 You're in old stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This is the car yeah, area. This is Bones' car area here. Oh, nice. Here, you guys are in the old stuff. I don't know if I'd sell these, but they're cold. At Show people. Oh, those are cool. That's from. Those are ten. Th this is from. Uh, no, yeah, they're they're ten. This one I can't find anything out about it. I've had numerous people like look this at it. Probably worth a few hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. This one is too. This one is actually from between thirty-two and thirty-five. Yeah, it's called a wine dot. Definitely a lot of And right you don't there. find them in that condition. Yeah. No. Hey, well, I'd like to get that ten old express one. Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. take uh, whatever you don't want. We are! These are all kind of mixtures, quarter stuff, some okay. old graded stuff. That dollar, but we can have a bunch go. Nothing really super great. Yeah. Uh, again, when you guys come again, it'll be more and more. I'll tell you what, people love their quarter boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah these are dime that kind of stuff. Just old, you know, old stuff and basey base. I think your card is card shop's organized pretty well. You have gotten something like this, right? But it was the one where you put in the disc. Yeah, it was baseball. sports talk. Sports talk. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Sports yeah. Sports I think I've seen that one before. That one might be a little bit older than that. That's what I've seen. I don't think I've seen that. That's before. probably like mid '80s. Yeah. Early to mid '80s, I think. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Yeah. Those are all bars. Come on. What is it? But like, there's some like PSA tens of guys that like. Right. Like wow. Check out that background too. There's yeah. a ton of stuff. And then there's a backpack there. I can show you where we just have boxes and boxes. Yeah. Like, oh, eBay stuff. Like, oh, yeah. If you want some, we can pull it down. Oh, there's big cards and all here. Oh, cool. So this is you have all this list on eBay right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Something. I think I used to have something like that when I was a kid. Yeah. Like kind of bindery. Yeah. Kind of thing. Uh, starting lineups. Starting lineups. Alright, I said I, I knew we have a lot here, brother would like to. Yeah, like he's in, stuff in the get. toys. Oh, comics. This is like area where we're working on trying to get it. Yeah, you got a lot of inventory. That's pretty cool. I don't think they're real. Uh, it's I think it's stub jobs, yeah. Right? Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Alright, these are just boxes and stuff here, some maybe sets. Old 
new different spokes. This is a bunch of 93 tops. You can have at them. <coughs> yeah, it takes a long time to get. Yeah. I know, like, my garage is filled with about well, a, mil sure. a million cards. There's just no way that I'm ever probably going to get it. you have that stock photo um, when you do the pack thing on eBay. I'm uh -huh. sure it's oh, yeah. way more full than that. Those are just the boxes that I have, like the unopened boxes. Yeah. You sell a lot of those? Um, I think what are they, eight dollars or something? Yeah, I, I just I sell them in lots, so it's like you get one lot for eight fifty, you get like seven packs. Right. And uh, I've sold a lot over the past few years. Cool. That mystery box you got wasn't bad the other day. Yeah, I, I was expecting. I was really surprised actually. I was expecting it to be garbage, but yeah. when there was a Vladdy Junior rookie in there and yeah, a Cunha, right? I was like, yeah. all right, this is pretty good. Yeah, definitely. If you made them all up ahead of time, you know, who yeah, knows what no. else is in it. That's what he said. I was like, yeah. hope you don't mind. I'm planning on opening this in the video. And he's like, that's okay. I have them all made ahead of time, so um, it'll be okay. Old, that's old, like, 80s and 90s packs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Your favorite. <laughs> 91 Fleer. Your favorite, huh? Yeah, that's coming up drastic. soon. And the worst cards ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just different sports. Uh, There's Nolan Ryan Pacific cards. Remember those? Yeah, this is a uh, un uncharted territory here. Uh, all these boxes. Of, tons of old bull packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, those ones didn't make it to the show. Wow. Yeah, we brought another box. So uh, we, we sold all them. Did you all those rat packs? Yeah, nice. yeah, we sold all those, and then we took that other box the next day. It sold out. Sold yeah, those. Day, yeah. yeah, people like ripping old yeah, packs. Yeah, we definitely like the older packs. Yeah, you pulled the Frank Thomas real quick. I pulled that Thomas? Yeah, yeah, I was hoping we get a no name on front. That'd be sick. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Frank Thomas. So. Well, the, the best part about that was we were thinking when we saw Frank Thomas, we were thinking it was the Frank Thomas. But it was, it was the, the fire. It was the fire. Yep. I was like, that would have been cool to pull a no name <laughs> and have him sign it. Yeah, yeah honestly, that would have been sick. Yeah, I went and pulled that and gave it away. I think someone right after that, and they were pretty stoked about it. Frank stuff. Yeah, I wanted to show you those. Not sure how many of those are. Football, though. Oh, that score. Yeah. 91 score, yeah. 91 tops, 90 upper deck. See, so like this, like a kiss figure. This should be on the deck. I mean, yeah. Just here, just. It takes yeah. a lot of work to get stuff listed on eBay. I have yeah. so much stuff I need to get listed that I haven't had time to do. I think the cards end here. Classic draft picks, 92. That's not, Jeter's 93, right? Um, I don't know if he even has a classic. Jeter might be 92. Minor classic. League? Classic. classic. I, think he I want to say it's 92 for Jeter. Yeah, his, yeah. his, his major league is 93. Is it, is it, is it, I wonder if it's multi-sport or is it... Is yeah, it I don't know. Sport Some of them are multi-sport. Depends on what set it is. Still pick. Yeah, Jeter should be 92. He's probably in there. I don't know. He was, he was a 92 draft pick. That's your least favorite there, that right Yeah, range. I found some packs I want to get here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 90 on us. Is that a cellar box? Um, I'm not sure. No, it's a regular wax. Yeah, I mean, I would take I would take it for five bucks if you guys want to. Yeah. Just throw those into the pack. I know we took that one. We had a five row. The score is known. I feel like crazy. Uh, no, I don't really do too much with factory sets. Oh, yeah, because you're going to be breaking them Yeah. Yeah, those look like they're all... 82 tops? Those are all sets. 82 tops isn't bad. I'm going to be doing... Is the Ripken in there? Right? Is that Ripken 82 tops? Yeah, Ripken's uh, in there. Is 82 tops... Do you know what number? Oh, he's top straight. Huh? Well, his top straight one's worth a lot more because that's uh, the one he's on by himself. And that, on that one, he's on there with about oh, the other two guys. other guys. Yeah. Did you see some guy made a custom card and put patches on the side? Uh -huh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, like uh, kind of like a newer card. Yeah. Put out the other two pictures and put an Orioles patch. That's a cool idea. Yeah, I remember that too. I remember that I know some people definitely love their factory sets. 84 players got manually in there. Yeah. 
I heard it. She's like programmed in my head forever. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to see if these are all done. These are like homemade. We got them off of some guy that had them all. You never trust what's written on them. Yeah, yeah. you always gotta yeah. like make sure the, the good ones are in there. Yeah. 95 Upper Deck Collector's Choice. There's all types of stuff down there, Jordan. I remember stacking all of those in there. 91. 93 Upper Deck. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the. Uh, I got a stack of boxes up front. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna skip that old express box. Are you looking at that one? You can take that one. That's right. <laughs> that was yeah. the one I wanted the most. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna split them up, we can split them up. I haven't seen those. I don't think I, I want any other ones. I'll put them on the box. Yeah. Those express cards I've seen in a long time. I think I used to have that book that's on top there. Red <laughs> Foley's. Really. I definitely used to have this. Yeah. Best like, baseball book like, ever. I remember that. That's what's cool when you find stuff. Yeah. When you were a kid. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Want to check out anything else in this room? Yeah. 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 Yeah
They range from 1990 Donruss up to 93 Upper Deck. And for nine boxes, 60 bucks, that's like $6.50 a box. I'll take that. Um, it saves me from having to pay the shipping on eBay to replenish my stock. I try to have a bunch of different brands um, and years of wax boxes available on hand at any given time. For my eBay stores, I do pack lots. Um, I have this stack of singles we're going to show you but first i'd like to give these guys a shout out i'm going to show you their business card uh, so you can check them out they're called main street hobby and they're always buying stuff as you saw in their back room they have tons of stuff that people have brought in uh, their address is right there 440 main street in johnstown there's their phone number and also if you saw something in the video that you like and you might want to buy it maybe send them an email sales at central and village or i guess that's what it is dot com here's the back they're ebay stores they're on ebay as you saw a large portion of that back room is dedicated to ebay sales and they have three different ebay uh stores there starting with tpjr 7264 miller merc and cv collectibles so check them out also if you if you're a facebook user you can check them out on facebook so thanks for having us in guys uh, thanks for giving us good deals, and uh, we hope to visit again soon next time we're up that way. All right, let me also show you the singles that I bought. I paid $60 for this stack of cards, $60 for the wax boxes. So all in all, I spent $120 today. They had a large box, maybe with about 3,000 vintage cards from, I think it was like 68 and 69, all the way up through like uh, the early 80s, and they were all a quarter, which was really nice. So I picked out a couple ones to uh, show you guys. Louis Tiant was first. I probably will send that to somebody on Patreon. Then a Reggie Jackson, 1980 tops, in really good condition. Wasn't going to pass on that for a quarter. Gaylord Perry, 79 tops for 25 cents. My brother bought a Gaylord Perry rookie card there for 10 bucks. My brother ended up spending $30. And a goose gossage for a quarter. So those are all out of the quarter box. So four cards at a quarter, one dollar. Also picked up this guy, Jack Morris. Um, he's a Hall of Famer. So I like this card a lot. Whenever I see it out and about, I always pick it up. You can usually find this card for fifty cents to a dollar. Obviously, it books a little more than that, but it is a nice card. This one's in good shape. And then the eighty-seven tops Barry Bonds. As you know. I love this card. I love Barry Bonds rookie card. So whenever I see Bonds rookies, I buy them. Whenever people send me Bonds rookies on Fan Mail Friday, I get hyped because I like them. I don't know how many I have, but um, it's getting to be a lot, and I definitely collect these rookie cards. So a couple 87 tops Barry Bonds rookies, an 87 Fleer Barry Bonds rookie card in very nice shape, and also an 86 tops traded Barry Bonds rookie card. So as you know, I'm all about the rookie cards. I collect rookies, including Tony Gwynn rookie, 1983 tops in good condition. And also a Wade Boggs, 1983 tops rookie card. So a couple 83 tops rookies. I didn't see the Sandberg in the box, uh, but I got the Gwynn and the Boggs. Two out of the three from that 83 top set. And then how about a George Brett rookie card, 1975 tops. I only put the other ones down. I don't want to expose who they are. You probably already saw them when I was putting them down. You can see the card is in not that bad of a shape. It's got a little bit of uh, soft corners. Also, there's a slight crease. Can you see the crease? You probably can't. You have to like um, move the light a certain way to actually see it. It is right there, right between the L and the S. But overall, it's in better condition than the other George Brett rookie card I have. I only have one other Brett rookie. Uh, I picked it up for five bucks at a flea market. And um, let's just say it's in worse shape than this one. So this is now my best Brett Condition rookie card. Also, I picked up this one, Ozzy Smith rookie card, 1979 tops. You can see it's, um, it's in good shape. The only problem is it's off-center, but it seems like every time I see this card, it's always off-center. That's probably because all the centered ones people have already sent out to be graded. So it's tough to find this card um, in nice centered condition, um, in ungraded condition. So... Um, there's that Ozzy Smith rookie card. Love that one a lot. And the last one I picked up, I didn't have this one. 1984 Don Russ, Don Mattingly rookie card. One of these days, I'll do an 84 Don Russ throwback Thursday and get a get an authenticated box from the baseball card exchange and look for this card. But I didn't have this one, so I definitely wanted to grab that one. So those are all the cards that I picked up. 
Um, as I said, my brother picked up some cards also. His uh, best one was probably the uh, Gaylord Perry 62 Tops rookie card, but that was a fun video to do and fun looking through these card stores. Um, if you know any card stores that would like us to come in and check them out, um, by all means, just uh, let us know and we'll come check you out whenever we're in the area. We're always looking for uh, new card stores to buy more stuff for our collections and also um, let you guys know about it because a lot of people, a lot of collectors that have been away from the hobby, um, they don't realize, but there's still card stores out there. Sometimes you just have to look uh, to find them a little bit. But they are out there. So check out Main Street Hobby if you're ever in the uh, western Pennsylvania area in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And thank you for watching this video, everybody. Um, it's Memorial Day, so happy Memorial Day to everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. If you're a veteran and you served our country, thank you so much for your service. Um, this country would not be the country we know and love um, without you guys. Thank you very much for your dedication and your service and also to everybody that has fought and given their lives for this country and paid the ultimate sacrifice. Um, we just, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So thank you for watching everybody. Happy Memorial Day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.